so uh, today has been an awful day for Ro. I think this has been the worst day ever uh, when it comes to her uh, stomach and stomach pain and I feel so bad for her. It's, um, it's hard for you as a parent to see a child going through all this kind of pain and it's absolutely heartbreaking. Um, and even through she's been crying most of the day. Between times she's crying, she's just this happy, cheerful kid. And I mean, when I'm in pain, I get really bad mood. But she don't. I mean, she has all the excuses in the world to be completely awful. And she's not. She's just this precious, sweet, caring, empathetic little girl. And my heart breaks. It's... She's a fantastic person, in all ways. Believe me, she's just too well. And she's such a fantastic human being, and I'm so proud of her. It's, yeah. uh, as I said yesterday, I think I said yesterday, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, when we left um, their lab, after we taking all those um, 16 tests, they called me and told me, that she need another test, so 17, completely, totally, a total of 17 plus of x-ray and ultrasound. And uh, as we was on the way to the bus, they said that we're going to send it um, into mail, this uh, uh, yeah. thing. And uh, we got it today, and the nurse has been no row because she's been there so many times. So on the back of the envelope, there was these little stickers with a frog. And Ro has this stuffed animal, this little frog that she will sleep with. So, but you know, it's really personalized. And inside it was a note from the nurse um, apologizing for uh, Ro having to go through even more uh, of those tests because we could have taken it at the same time and used the same blood as we did for other tests and then have to do, you know, an every uh, needle. So, um, but did, now we need to drain more blood from her and. Um, uh, so she got those two, uh, two extra stickers um, for her album in, um, in the mail and she was really happy for that. She don't know what's going on, she won't know what it means, but again, drain more blood from her. But I think it was a nice and sweet thing to do that we feel for her too, like, you know, who don't, I mean, it's, so yeah. Uh, the plan is for her to go to preschool tomorrow. I hope it's gonna work out. If she's in this shape tomorrow, naturally she can't go. It's uh, not much to do about, but uh, yeah. She's, uh, I mean, I can't send a child in that kind of pain to preschool. It's not human. So, but yeah. So that is pretty much what's going on with my sweet little kid. Um, it was something else I was thinking about, but I. It slipped my mind because I, I'm really tired and I'm really focused on this with Ro because it's been uh, so much with her for such a long time that uh, yeah, she's still a little bit spot and um, yeah. Uh, so we haven't done much today, more than crying over not just too much pain. We haven't been even outdoors. More, I walked a dog, but besides that, I haven't been outdoors because. Um, it had been just those like 10 minutes now and then we've been okay and not uh, in really bad pain, so, yeah. Um, another um, good news, we could say that, is that my, um, I, got, I got this mail from boss and she's going through all our uh, payments, we do that once a year, and I thought she did this, did this on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday but uh, she uh, has moved this until tomorrow, so I'm gonna be a part of it, and that's nice. And um, it's like this we are uh, employed by the city of Malmö, and they have this like center where they put. Uh,